Of course, getting a sharp focus is important, but it's tough to do in spectroscopy. The problem is that visually, all we really have is the star image to focus on. The smeared spectrum doesn't have any sharp edges that help us focus. With RSpec, instead of focusing on the star, you can actually focus on a feature on the spectrum. Let's see how that works. Let's zoom in on this hydrogen feature here and talk about what it is that we need to do in order to focus on this absorption line. The deeper this feature, the better our focus is. So we're going to tell RSpec the range over which we want it to measure the depth or the height of a feature, and then we'll maximize on that. So let's turn on our focus tool first, and then down here, show our cursors. So what I'm going to do is drag my cursors so that they surround the feature that I want to focus on. Once I have the cursors positioned, over here on the focus box, we've set it so that it searches the cursor range for a minimum. That would be here. And then it finds the maximum to the left. In this case, that's exactly what we want to do. We wouldn't want RSpec to search to the right from the minimum because the maximum isn't in that direction. It's to the left. So we'll leave it set this way. Now let's step forward one frame. And as we do that repeatedly, we'll see that the software has labeled the identified minimum and maximum in that range, as well as shown us the numeric value, and graphed it. As we step through frames, we can see that feature move around, but the minimum and maximum are still being calculated. Let's zoom out a little bit and click play. And we can see, again, it's jumping around a lot just because of noise. So here's where we can put our stacking into play. And now we can see a running display that's showing us our focus over time. This real-time display will allow us to determine the best focus as indicated by the depth of that feature. If your camera software can produce a live direct show video, then you can use it as I've just shown you. If you're only getting still images out of your camera, then load one of them and use the auto open new files command. And then you'll get the same functionality where one image will come through at a time and they'll be graphed on the display. Doug West has written a very useful article that talks about focusing, the challenges, and the importance in spectroscopy. You can see it at this website URL.